Hello everyone, it's your girl Claudie from hookitwithclaudie.com. I'll be showing you how to make the best ever Jamaican brown stew chicken. This is the easiest method ever. So right here I have some chicken thighs. You can use any chicken curds. I took out the skin. If you like, you can leave yours on. I have my seasonings here. Make sure you check the description box for the list of the seasonings. You want to go ahead and mix that onto well combined. Then save one teaspoon of that so that we're going to use it to make our brown stew chicken. Okay. I'm just going to save a teaspoon of this one. So the remaining um, seasonings, you want to spread it all over the chicken or sprinkle over the chicken, add in some garlic. You want to add some fresh thyme, bring in some chopped onion. I'll be using some ketchup as well. Add some brown sugar. You can adjust the sugar according to how you want it to be. I have some yellow and red bell peppers. You want to bring in the browning. The browning gives it that beautiful brown color. Bring in some green onion and you're going to mix that onto a chicken is well coated with all those beautiful seasonings. Right now, everything is looking good. You can let it rest. The longer it rests or the longer it marinates, the better. In a pot, you want to go ahead and add in some oil. Go ahead and sear each side of the chicken until it has a beautiful brown color. At this point, your chicken is not supposed to be fully cooked, okay? You just want it to have a char looking color. Now, if you go ahead to flip the sides when the other side is fully brown, this is how you want your chicken to be, just like this. Cooking with Claudie, cooking with Claudie, easy. Now bring everything, the remaining um, seasonings from the pan. You want to bring everything inside the pot at this um, point. Then go ahead and bring in some chicken broth. You can as well add in some boiling or hot water. Any type of broth is going to work. Give that a gentle stir. Now bring in the remaining seasoning we saved from before. You want to add in some bay leaves. So because I want my gravy to be thick, I will add in some tomato paste. This point is optional. You can as well use a little bit of cornstarch and water towards the end. I'll add in some scotch bonnets. You can use any amount. Control the heat according to your heat preference. You want to cook that until it's tender, just like this. This cooked for about 20 minutes because my chicken is really, really soft. So make sure you are checking your pot from time to time so it doesn't burn and add water as needed. So this is how beautiful that is looking. You can go ahead and serve right away. Thank you so much for watching.